Hey folks, it's Neely. Today, we're going to get you set up on Project 1999. You'll notice that this video has been broken down into a series of steps. It is important that you follow these steps to ensure that the process goes smoothly and with zero headaches. To save time, I will refer to Project 1999 as P99 for the remainder of the video unless it is important to do otherwise. Before we begin, be aware that I've included all of the steps and links from this video in the description below. So, to start, begin by opening a web browser. Go to project1999.com. On the homepage, you'll see this welcome post. At the bottom of that welcome post, there is a get them here, project 1999 patch files. Go ahead and download those now. You're not gonna use them right away, but it's just good to get started there. The next is going to be to get the game client files. Now, it's important to know you can only use EverQuest Titanium. No other client files will work. So if you have the original disks or you're using the live client over on Steam, neither of those are going to work. So if you happen to have the original EverQuest Titanium CDs, feel free to install those now. But otherwise, you're going to need to find them online. And I've done a bit of digging before this video and found that there was a forum poster over at MMORPG who actually provided a copy of those discs here at their drive. Now, I just want you to know that prior to this video, I have downloaded these files, I've installed the files, I've been able to get into the game, and Casper Sky has reported that there is no known viruses or malware in there. That said, I'm just your average gamer as well, and you know, I'm not a security specialist, so take these, uh, under that uh, that knowledge that they seem cool but I can't verify everything so that out of the way and you're good with it what you want to do is click on that link click on the down arrow download these files and you're going to see that it says it's zipping it's gonna do this for two separate files and it's gonna take a little bit to do it so while that's going on and I'm going to cancel this myself since I have the files while that's going on, we're going to move on to the next step, which is creating folders for all of our files to go into. So to begin, we're gonna to go to our desktop and we're going to add a folder there. Go ahead and set whatever you want it to be. And leave that there for now. Then you're gonna to want to go into the file explorer Go into the drive on your computer you want to install the game. And you're going to create a folder there. It's important to note that we do not want to install the game into program files or program files x86. So just create yourself a directory folder there and leave that. At this point, you're probably still downloading the files, so go ahead and pause the video here and come back once those are done. Okay, so we're going to assume that you have all of the folders download or all the files downloaded. So what I'd like you to do is go to your downloads folder and you should see these three files. So we're going to begin by dropping our client files into our desktop folder here. I recommend doing it this way and not just doing it uh, as an extract. That way you don't have to keep digging through a bunch of different folders. And we're going to do this one more time on these other two. So when you look in here, you're going to see that this will say CDs 1 through 5. And now, once these are in, we have to mount them. I know, it's such a weird way to say it. So what you do is you go in, click Mount, hit OK, and you'll notice that it seems to expand. We're gonna do this five or well, four more times. And 
And you'll notice now that under this PC, we have all of these extra drives where those disks are mounted. Cool thing is this is something unique to Windows 10. If you do not have this ability, if you're using something like Windows 7 or Vista or something even older, uh, you're going to need to download additional software to help you mount these things. But once you've done that and you see these drives on the side, go ahead and click back on disk one, select setup. Yes, I'd like to make changes. Now, you're gonna to wanna to go slow here because remember, we do not want to install this game into our program files directory. And it's going to ask us to do that. So don't just get click happy. Once we get here, we're going to change this. We're gonna find that folder that we created. And then we can hit next, hit next. And it's gonna be doing its thing. Soon enough, it's going to ask us to insert the next disk. Maybe. All right. So for this, we're going to click on Browse. We're going to look for that second drive with two. And for whatever reason, the fifth disk makes it that weird name. Don't worry, it's just some quirk of theirs. We're going to do this three more times. There's the weird name one. And for whatever reason, we have to go back to the first one. All right, we hit finish. And now the game is in. However, before we do anything else, we need to go back to our download folder. And we need to grab these patch files. So go to your drive as well, find your EverQuest folder. And then you can either drag and drop these in like I'm going to do, or you can extract them by uh, right clicking and going that way. Now it's going to come to a point where it's going to ask us to replace some files. And when it does, we want to make sure to do that. Perfect. So once we have those files in, we want to scroll down or you can search. We want to look for launch. We want to create a shortcut. Drag that to the desktop because what you'll notice is we also have this other icon. You can delete this one. You do not want to run uh, the like launcher, the eqgame.exe or any of the launchers because that can actually result in the system uh, trying to update us to the newest live version, which pretty much means we'll have to redo everything we just did. Well, there you have it, folks. Project 1999 is ready to be played on your computer. You can go ahead and delete those CD files that we had earlier. And don't worry, those drives will disappear from that mounting area once you restart your computer. It's not something you're going to have to deal with forever. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I hope this was informative and I went through things at a pace that would be easily followed. I figured, you know, worst case scenario, you could always, oh my goodness, I am going through puberty again and I'm almost 40. Anyways, I figured, you know, if you needed to, you could stop the video, rewind a little bit and see what I did. But I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm actually going to uh, through a master's program right now to become an instructional designer. So this is uh, a bit of my bag in terms of being able to teach useful skills to people. And uh, the way that they made it a pain to get Project 1999 is a skill unto itself to get running. So hope this was helpful. Give me your feedback. See you guys in uh, Norath. If you are on green, that's where I'm playing right now. You can find me at Buckshort. You'll see that name uh, down in the link below. And I look forward to talking with you. I hope you guys uh, have as much fun with the game as I do. And uh, I look forward to questing with you. Take care.